Hello, everybody! This is OA2 coming at you with my episode review of episode 5 of Kami-sama's Kiss Season 2. Now, this episode um, was a really good episode. No, not really action, but it was great with character development, especially Tomoe in this episode completely. Now, this episode kicks off with um, Nanami waking up in this bed um, back at the um, Conference of the Gods, uh, Izumu, and um, she's like, and Mizuki's there, and she's like, what day is it, what day is it, uh, how long have I been asleep, and Mizuki's like, yeah, it's the fourth day of the conference, uh, you've been asleep, yeah, you've been asleep. And she's like, where's Tomoe? And is he okay? Is everything fine? And basically she gets summoned by Lord Okunigishiki. And they have, and basically he's like, yeah, I put Tomoe in the dungeon. In the prison. He's locked up. Uh, but thanks for giving me back. I might getting my hammer back. Yeah. The magic hammer, the lucky hammer, yeah. Thank you for you, thank you. Yeah, you got me the hammer back. So, um, of course, as Nanami is, she basically rushes to tell him why. And, um, she's basically working to get him out. And she's like, tell him why I can turn, come on, I can turn you back into my familiar. You don't have to be a yokai any again. I can make you be my familiar and everything will be all fine. You can get released, everything. And he's like, no, I don't want to be your familiar at this moment. Give me some time. Give me some time. And the reason he's like this is because he is reeling in his head. How does he feel uh, about uh, Nanami? He's like, before I was devoted to Nanami all the time, but wasn't that because I was her familiar? Was it because I was her familiar that I would do anything she was? I would come rushing. I would do, go to the length of the earth. So he's like, I'm no longer her familiar at this moment. I'm just another yokai. Fo a fox yokai. So I'm using this time to mull over how do I actually feel about Nanami. And why do I still have these feelings and longings for her, even though I am no longer her familiar? So a lot of this episode was flashbacks um, of different situations when he was her familiar. Like when Mizuki was like, hey, Nanami, Nanami, can I sleep, sleep my futon next to you? I used to do this with my former mistress. And, and of course, Tomoe is like, um, get the hell out of here. You sleep in the servants' quarters, you know? <laughs> So, we have multiple incidents throughout the episode of flashbacks, interfaces, like, um, and in the process of this, um, he ends up, I mean, Nanami even notices when he's in there, he's got an injury on his hand, and, yeah, she basically gets one of the gods to give her their peach pills to heal him, and in the process, after he basically accepts becoming her familiar again. Um, cause he, um, you know, basically he kind of comes because he sneaks into her room after being let out. Um, and he's just looking at her like, why am I drawn to this girl? Why do I feel every whim, uh, the longing to be with her, the longing to kiss? And he becomes her familiar again with her kiss. And after that, she basically just wants to go out to the mundane world, the human world, for a day. And he tags along. And he, there, all this stuff happens. They're at the shrine. They're getting a soba. And, and he asks her, Nanami, do you still have those feelings for me like you did? Like the, you confessed to me a, a while back. And she was like, yeah, I still like you, but I know they're unreciprocated, and I'm not going to go any further or make anything weird or anything. And, of course, he's liking her, so he's like, so I'm looking at this, I'm like, 
holy shit, he likes her, he's hearing that she still likes him, and all this. So we have more of the conference and interactions. We have um, Nanami taking up chores for Lady Inoue, uh, all this stuff um, happening through the conference and everything, while Tomoe is trying to figure shit out himself. And then we hit the very end. I mean, we have a scene where um, Tomoe is trying to figure things out because she gets some um, soba sauce from her soba noodles while they're out, spilled on her. And she's changing in front of him. And he's like, do you have any sense of what you're doing? You're, you're uh, stripping in front of me. And the only way he can um, hide is being his kind of cruel self to her, like, like sadistic self in front of her. And it's like he's just being this way to hide from her that he can't he really likes her and he can't he's trying to figure this shit out. And we have all this going through the episode. Um she's like, Come on, you've seen me in this slip before. I always change and he's like and on the final day, uh we have all this going. Then we come to the final day of um Izumo, the Conference of the Gods, and she comes out in this extravagant outfit, extravagant, and, um, um, basically she goes up to Mizuki, and Mizuki, she goes like, do I have the sash tied right, do I have a good, and she, Mizuki says, I can adjust that to you, and Tomo comes up, strip woman! I will take care of this for you. You don't need to wear all that fancy stuff. Your normal stuff is great. And she's like, get the hell out. She just, like, storms away from Tomoe. He gets another, like, blow of, like, yeah, you kind of fucked up here, man. You kind of fucked up with that line. And it keeps going forward. And then we have our final day of the conference with her all dressed up and everything. And she notices a butterfly, the same butterfly when she arrived at Izumo that led her through the maze of pathways and everything to get there. She follows it, and she gets there, and it's Mikage. It's Mikage's um, flower, uh, butterfly. And she's talking to him, she's asking him questions like, why did you choose me? When... And plus, also, when is when are you going to see Tomoe again? Tomoe really wants to see you. And um, Mikage is like, one, I can't see him yet. I've been gone for 20 years. There's a reason I've been gone for 20 years. I can't let this tw these 20 years go to waste. And in this process, um, um, in this process, um, she, he says, do you know why it's taboo for humans and yokai to fall in love? Um, she's like, no. And he goes, the reason it's taboo is because um, humans are fleeting and fall in love multiple times. Yokai they live for hundreds to thousands of years and they um pretty much can't let go with strong feelings. And the reason I'm gone and I picked you is because I want Tomoe to get to a point where he doesn't need me anymore. He doesn't need, specifically Mikage doesn't want Tomoe to have to need um him anymore. He wants to be able to lead Tomoe off and have Tomoe get his emotional needs from Nanami. That's why he picked Nanami. That's why he's been gone so long. That's why he's not returning. And she's like, but Tomoe really wants to... And then Tomoe sees him in the distance and starts running over. And basically Mikage turns into a ball of light and basically disappears. And we have the end of the episode. So this is really interesting. We found out why Tom, why Mikage has disappeared for all these years. Uh, part of his picking of Nanami to be to take his place at the land god. We found out that 
Tomoe is really working on coming to his acceptance of his feelings for Nanami and all that, and this is getting pretty good with this romance series, this character. We still have a couple more characters that I want to see get evolved in this, like Arkuro, um, they put too much of him in this series so far that we need more of him, we need to resolve that with him, and Tomoe, I'm loving Mizuki because his antics just are crazy, uh, but still, uh, how, uh, will Tomoe stay the, um, familiar with Nanami, or will he go back to being a yokai when everything's said and done, and if they wind up together, so I'm really looking forward to these episodes coming up, I'm looking forward to the storyline, I'm planning to be reading most of the manga, so, yeah, thus, this is the old boy to say, if you like this video, please click like, if you want to see more, please subscribe! This is your way to signing out.